Hey YouTube, verse TJ here. This video is in response to uh, his name is Outside Screwball, who uh, modified a lot of Harbor Freight clamps for his welding table. Well, I have a separate jig that I use when I weld, especially when I TIG weld. This allows me to clamp parts onto the little jig here. It's just basically a, a small plate on the bottom. And then an ang either angle welded to that plate or two pieces of aluminum, which I did. I also bored three holes in the top to allow for uh, sinking of fittings. If you're doing tank work or if you get any clearance on the back side of it, you just sink it down here. And as you can see, I'm welding back an arm on my one of my switches for my CNC plasma cutter project. And I actually am utilizing the hole there because I'm sinking that roller down in there to make everything level. I'm also utilizing a weld finger here. If you search on Google weld finger, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Uh, I also have a TIG torch holder here. It's magnetic on the bottom. Uh, this jig also allows you to get your elbows on the table better and also allows you to rest your hand on the piece itself. So if you're coming in here with a TIG torch, you can rest your hand on the on the jig itself and then rest your elbow on the table to give you more stability. So that's one of the main reasons why I, I built this jig as well, just to get some elevation and up a little bit higher. So this is just a quick how-to, how to make this jig. It's really simple. Just make sure everything's square when you make it and it's level. So when you match parts up against it, if you're using underneath, and if you clamp something underneath, or if you're using the back side of it, you know, make sure it's um, perfectly square. I also... Uh, one one last thing is on the back side of it, I had a tab. I welded a tab with a tube, and that tube actually acts as where I clamp my ground to, and the tube also holds my filler rod as well. So when I'm welding, I don't have to go thumbing around on the table for for filler rod. I just pick it up and grab it, especially with TIG welding gloves on. Anyways, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and Merry Christmas, everybody.